hello all and welcome back to the channel as you all know i am making the videos on pronoun personal please look at the playlist also i will mention the playlist on the i button so let's start with pronoun personal today's topic is coi it's a part of pronoun person only it's used for the indirect object as the name mentioned indirect object pronouns we have already done pronotonic pronoun suje cod that's a complement object direct and in today's video i will be showing indirect so let's start with what are the things are used in coi for the first person we use mo or m apostrophe whenever there is a verb starting with a vowel to mention to me in cod it means me simple me first person plural we use no means to us just because we are using the to here it becomes indirect i will show you how we will be using coi second person singular we use the or t apostrophe to mention to you who again means to you for the plural people plural second person or to give respect third person masculine we use lui means to him ler means to them third person feminine also we use lui we use lui for masculine singular and feminine singular same goes with the ler we use ler with the masculine plural and the feminine plural the indirect object pronouns replaced by persons and the verbs followed by the preposition the family of uh, a article contracte second family is considered as to the a au ala ala apostrophe aux whenever the verb is followed by these are we utilize pronoun coi how to find coi like we have to use coi or cod one question word is always asked to whom i make it very clear coi is used only for replacing human beings as in cod we can replace human beings or things but in coi we have to replace only human being let's start for example you pal aton ami i is there and human being is there as i already said that uh, lui is used for the masculine singular and in feminine singular also we used lui you speak to your friend je lui pal we have already clear that where the pronouns are replaced as in in the earlier video also i mentioned that cod is replaced before the conjugated verb same goes with the coi coi is also replaced just before the conjugated verb second sentence is tu envoy you letter au garçon you send a letter to the boy our family plus human being is there we have to replace this to the boy how we will be replacing it with lui je lui envoie une lettre i send to him a letter again in english we use i send to him but in french they say i to him send a letter it's quite uh, difficult to digest that uh, how the french people use the pronouns so, but it's their rules we have to follow them third sentence wo telephone o paro you telephone to the parents again our family is there and human beings parents are there so it's plural third person plural we will be replacing it with them nu lor telefono we telephone to them to them is replaced before the conjugated verb c 
COI are very much easy as we just have to replace the human being and always keep one thing in mind that we have to replace according to whom whenever the question arise in your mind to whom we have to replace it with coi in the second sentence two breath ton velo a john a a mari there are two human beings are there then we have to replace it with the masculine plural or we can say feminine plural third person plural they both are girls so we will replacing with the feminine plural and the condition is that for the masculine plural and the feminine plural we just have to use ler you can see there is a cod sentence also there but here we are just replacing it with the coi how it will be replaced yes je je ler prat mo velo yes i lent to them my cycle somebody asked to that person did you lend your cycle to john a and to mary and the person want to say yes i lent my cycle to them we say to them after the verb but they replace the pronoun before the conjugated verb if i need to say the answer in negative my answer would be no je ne leur prête pas mon vélo no i didn't i don't i didn't lent my cycle to them in english we put the to them after the conjugated verb but they put it before the conjugated verb third sentence madame vincent don le roma aux étudiants it's again plural third person plural again it will be replaced with the leur we madame vincent leur don le roma yes madame vincent gave to them the novels no if the sentence is negative madame vincent no no conjugate verb is here and pronoun will be replaced here no leur don pa le roma no madame vincent didn't give the books to them fourth sentence tu di bonjour a ton père you say hello to your father as you can see our family is there plus human being is there it will be replaced with c o i and the position of replacement is before the conjugated verb so how we je lui di bonjour yes i say hello to him it's replaced before the conjugated verb sentence is negative no je ne lui di pa bonjour i didn't say hello to him in this slide you will see if like two verbs are there or like future prosh past reason co i is placed before the infinitive verb same condition is followed with the cod also that before the before the infinitive verb even the cod is replaced sentence number 1 le garçon va offrir a crayon à l'enfant i made the sentence in future Rosh. So let's see how we will be replacing "ala onfo" with "coi" here. We, the garçon, va lui offrir a crayon. Yes, the boy is going to offer to him a pencil. Again, the we are replacing "lui" here because the emphasis is more on the second verb, "offrir." that's what the condition is whenever we are focusing or the emphasize of the object is more on the second verb that's the reason the replacement is just before the second verb third negative no le garçon ne va pas lui offrir the crayon no the boy is not going to offer to him a pencil as you can see first we have to make the 
nirpa condition that we are putting the conjugated verb in the nirpa between the nirpa then your pronoun is here and the infinitive verb is here second tu via the prete to velo a john a a mary you have just lent your cycle to john and to mary i have used the sentence of passer reson here so let's see how we will replacing john and to mary they are plural third person plural and it will be replaced with the ler see how it's replaced it's replaced just before the second verb yes je viens de ler prete mon vélo i have completed the first passer reson condition then before the second verb i have replaced it if the sentence is negative no je ne viens pas de ler prete mon vélo as you can see first we have to complete the condition of passer reson and the pronoun is placed just before the second verb third sentence third sentence i have taken the example of kutub prosh again miss vin miss madam vincent va done le roma os etutio again third person plural how it will be replaced it will be replaced before the con, before the infinitive verb madam vincent va ler done le roma yes madam vincent going to give the novels to them it's placed before the infinitive verb the sentence is negative no madam vincent no va pa first we have to complete the condition that we have to put the conjugated verb in na pa then your pronoun is here then the infinitive verb is here no madam vincent no va pa ler done le roma no she is not going to give to them the novels fourth sentence i have taken normal tu voudre dire bonjour a ton père you would like to say hello to your father yes i would like to say hello to him father here is your masculine singular third person if i would have written here mother also the answer would have remained same louis negative je ne voudre pas first na pa condition we are completing the by putting the conjugated verb in na pa then the no then the infinitive verb of infinitive verb we are putting je ne voudre pas lui di bonjour sorry it has to be replaced here that i have not mentioned here let me just type if i am able to type it here no i am not able to type here but it will be mentioned here it would be put before the conjugated verb we have to mention lui here le garçon lui a offered a crayon the boy to him had offered a pencil in the negative le garçon ne lui a pas offered the crayon as you can see just before the auxiliary verb the pronoun c o i is placed and the past participle is placed after your pa and one thing is really good that no accord is here we don't have to look for any kind of a accord we don't have to see whether the human being that i have replaced is masculine or singular just simply put lui second sentence tu ave prete ton velo a john a amari a john a amari they both are feminine plural third person plural je ler ave prete mo velo yes i lent to them my cycle subject pronoun then the conjugate then the auxiliary verb and the past participle is here and no accord no je ne ler ave pa prete mo velo before the 
auxiliary verb i have to put pronoun c o i then past participle is placed after your pa question third madam vincent ore doni le roma o zithudyon plural whether it's masculine or feminine the answer will remain same but the position matters here madam vincent ler ore doni le roma it's placed before the auxiliary verb ler is placed before the auxiliary verb doni le roma negative no madam vincent na ler ore pa doni le roma again place before the auxiliary verb and the things will be coming between the nerpa between the nerpa pronoun is there and the auxiliary verb then the past participle is placed here for sentence tu a di bonjour a ton pere it's in passive composite auxiliary verb is here we je lui ai dit bonjour yes i said to him hello negative je ne lui ai pas dit bonjour i didn't said hello to him please follow the playlist for pronotonic pronunciation pronunciod and pronot and coi and in the further videos i will be mentioning or making the videos on pronoun y and pronoun on stay tuned Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.